We are the masters of movement. What we're gonna get into is manual resistance butterfly. If you have a training partner, this requires two of you. Old buddy system. What I'm gonna have partner number one do, we're gonna call him athlete, is lay down in a dead bug position. So John's thinking about pressing that lower back into the ground and then a butterfly stretch position. John's gonna try to get his heels as close to his butt as possible and the tops, the bottoms of his feet are smashing together. Captain, Partner two is gonna go ahead and take a knee at the shoelaces. What I need to do now, I'm gonna begin with my fingers facing forwards and we need to add a stretch. So I'm putting my body weight into my partner, adding a stretch, waiting for this relax. Then we're gonna communicate. John's gonna tell me when he's gonna go. As soon as John initiates, I bend my elbows, I'm rotating my fingers in, and I'm pretending that I'm trying to open the elevator doors here. So this is gonna be a chest workout for the captain. So we're going to reset. Again, add the extra stretch, nice and relaxed. As soon as he initiates, bending the elbows, dropping the chest, and I'm fighting to open up. If partner on the ground, partner number one, the athlete, is not as strong as the captain, what you're going to do is have enough resistance so it's one continuous motion inward. No problem here. He's stronger than I, so let's reset. So what I need to do is fight to maintain my good shoulder position so he doesn't jam me up in here. How I accomplish that and stay safe is by rotating and really dropping my chest and digging in here. So we want four good reps for our manual resistance. This rep should last about five seconds. So if captain is stronger, decrease the amount of stress that you're adding so it's one consecutive rep aiming for five seconds. If they're stronger than you, it is a big chest fight, like I'm opening elevator doors. Following any manual resistance exercise, do you need help up? <laughs> <laughs> Following any manual resistance movement, that true eccentric, we need to follow with a dynamic movement. Dealer's choice, John. We got any form of jump. This could be a lunge jump. John's choosing athletic position, powering through, full hip extension, but then catching, toes forward, athletic position. So we need to challenge that groin with now a dynamic, explosive movement following our true eccentric. Four is the magic number within here. Four good reps that last five seconds each fighting, and then four good jumps is all you need. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of the Masters of Movement. If you want more information, come check us out at powerathletehq.com and look to sign up for our newsletter. We got a ton of training content, discounts on merch, and a whole bunch of information that you might miss on the internet. So if you're also looking for the best training programs in the business, look for powerathletehq slash training. Remember, we're looking to empower your performance, so it's easier if you just jump on the Power Athlete bus because we're going to get you there. See ya!